Hi guys, Woody here and welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new save. If you haven't guessed what it is yet, I'm about to tell you it is a road to glory with the mighty Chatham Town. Let's go and run the intro. Alright guys, here we are at Chatham Town and uh, before we get into the nuts and bolts of this save and what you know it's going to look like and everything like that, if you're not subscribed to this channel and you could do that, it's about a good 80% of you who watch these videos that aren't subscribed and if uh, you're watching this and you're not, if you could subscribe, my numbers would go through the roof and that would be greatly appreciated. Also don't forget to smash that like button, remember you can't hit the like button or click the like button, it's got to be smashed and chuck a comment down there, let me know how long this is going to take me and how epic it could be. Anyway, here we are at the Club Info page for Chatham Town. The reason why I picked Chatham Town is um, half my family is English and they do live in, or they are from, and they do still live, some of them, in the uh, lovely town of Chatham. Um, so if you've ever been there, great place. So that's why I decided to pick them. Um, they are a long way down. As you can see, I've already played some games. We'll get into that in a minute. And there's a reason for that. They are in the Southern Counties East League Premier Division. That is Tier 9 of the English football system. So uh, I would need 9 back-to-back -back promotions. I think 8, whatever. 9 years in the ninth year getting promoted every year to be in the Premier League. Which is going to be really, really difficult. Now, the idea that this is going to work is because this is quite a long-term save. And I've probably still got my journeyman going. Hope there's a card popping up there now to that. If you're not up to date with that, go and check it out. It is uh, great stuff. So I'm hoping we'll have this one and we'll have videos kind of weekly, hopefully. Um, and we'll be doing massive, massive chunks. So the next one could be January and then it'll be end of season. So it'll be two episodes covering pretty much, in this case it will probably be three, but whatever, um, covering the, um, the season there just until the journeyman sort of finishes and then this one will pull in and it's kind of a cool time save and hopefully, hopefully we get all the way to the end uh, by the end of FM22. So having a quick look here at the club, we'll go to finance first, it's always a good place to start. We've got 32k in the bank, no transfer budget and we're slightly over the wage budget. Great start, I'm always over the wage budget, always. Um, we did have about seven grand when we started so we have got some money from winning a few uh, cup things and the like. Club Vision, we were here, you know, yeah, Club Vision, sorry, we weren't here before, it was Club Info. Uh, they want me to get promoted, and they also want me preliminary around the FA Cup, third round the FA Vars, and the Southern Counties East League Cup is not important. So I am looking pretty good, they're quite happy with the moment, which is great. Club Info here, media prediction is second, we are second, as you can see here, we, um, ticket price and stuff, average ticket price at seven, seven quid. I wonder if that's uh, actually real, but anyway, even if it's not, Go down and support your local football team. Like, you know, those clubs really, really do it tough. And, you know, get down there on a weekend. It's absolutely great fun to the uh, odd few times that I have been down to a local game in my life. Anyway, uh, the club is worth 11, just over £11,000 at the moment. So, looking pretty good. Transfers. I won't go too much into this because a lot of these players here are, um, <clears throat> are fake players. Just so you can get in the team. <clears throat> Excuse me. There are a few real players. And... Because of the way it is down here, these players are on non-contracts. They leave to go to lower leagues, leagues, um, other clubs in the same in the same tier. Go up, they do, you know. There's no transfer window, so let's not get too attached to these players. Um, obviously, scouting wise, Cameron Walker doesn't look too bad. While we're here, we're going to offer that boy a trial. Um, yeah, so we just do this as well. There's a lot of trials. I've got a lot of strikers actually at the moment. Centre backs, we are very weak on. We'll get him. We could do with a left back as well. Excellent. Good. Competitions wise, we're in four. As you can see, we've already played the three league games so far. FA Cup first qualifying round. Um, we've won, played three and won three school, and with a goal difference of eight. So we are looking pretty, pretty good in the competition so far. Having a look at the schedule here, we blitzed all of our friendlies as well. Surprisingly to um, big teams, uh, Mason United as well, who are in Vanarama South. And I think Margate are somewhere there as well. Ishmi and Premier League, so they're quite a way up as well above us, but we hammered a lot of these teams, we've got a quite good tactic. We then played Peterborough North Star in the FA Cup preliminary round, we drew three all the way, and then we came to the mighty, um, I 
keep doing this. The Mighty Made Stone Road, and we thumped them 7-1. Paul Hayes with five goals before half time. Pretty impressive for a man who is uh, 37, 37 years old. Great mentals, great technicals. Physicals aren't great, but for this level, this guy's amazing. Um, we then beat Hollands and Blair 3 1, Wellingtown 3 0. And um, that was at home. You can see the crowd support getting uh, getting here against Whitton. We've got 1,600 people and uh, with a 4 2 win and 3 0 win over Kennington. I love this. One away fan. One away fan travelled all the way from Peterborough down to uh, Maidstone Road to watch his team get pumped 7 1. Lovely stuff. Um, so that's that. Uh, Training-wise, obviously being semi-professional, we can only train like two days a week. So it does make it quite difficult um, for the players. As you look, look at this, I mean, we've got game and then no training and then game and then one training session and then game. It's it's, it's absolutely nuts. Staff-wise, I've increased, uh, you know, up that across the board. So it is looking the best in the league it can. One thing that I was so surprised about is my director of football, Carl Lahrman. Check this guy out. What the hell is this guy doing all the way as director of football for Chatham? It's so weird. It says he was manager and now he's director of football. He used to be Arsenal's under-23's assistant manager. Um, he was manager of Chatham in 98-99. So he's obviously got some, and uh, sitting born as well. So he's obviously from the area. Uh, it's great that he's here. But, I mean, these stats, judging player ability, potential negotiating, is through the roof at this level. So he is an absolute gun staff member, and I hope I can keep him for as long as possible. Because you have a look and you can compare him to my assistant manager, for example, Jason Getters. Um, five, 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 like they're so low. So, I mean, even looking at my stats, for crying out loud, um, he's way better than me. I've got 12 fitness, though. I'm a bit of a fitness guru, as you can see. Fitness guru. Um, it just does help lower league. Um, if you want some tips on playing lower league, I do have videos for that. Hopefully that is popping up now. Um, check out the self-promotion. But I pumped up fitness because it's good to pump these ones up in lower league because you can't sign good coaches. So by doing this, I don't need a fitness coach. And our fitness is through the roof. And as you can see here, I take up a whole 12 points of that. So a little tip there for you. Um, Tactics-wise, this is how we're running at the moment. It is a 4-3-3. It is called Up the Chat. Um, I am tweaking it a bit. We're, we've... I, I feel like we've got too many player instructions at the moment. Just regular goalkeeper, centre back, swing back, full back, deep line playmaker, bo box to box midfielder, CM, inside forward and left, inverted wing on the right, and the advanced forward. There's a lot of instructions here, which goes against what you're going to see in that video I pointed out before. Is the instructions, you know, you want to keep it simple at this league. And also, as well, we do a lot of uh, pressing. And uh, those trigger presses much more often as players are going to get absolutely knackered. Especially down at this level, when you've got players, you know, who are quite old. Uh, no offense, guys. But also, as well, like, have a look here at Charlie Towning. Uh, I mean, he has natural fitness of 12. The stamina is 5. So, they get tired really, really quickly. Uh, like I said, this is squad for the moment. Uh, Goals-wise, Paul Hayes has 7. 40 Mickey Dalton. He looks pretty good. Star rating is also absolutely weird at this level for some reason. Like, Henry Newcomb here is a 4-star goalkeeper. And I don't know, I don't think it looks that good, but here we are, four-star goalkeeper. Um, as you can see, some of these players here, like Paul Hayes, he's really good. Andy Pugh, a um, bit of a, uh, a Kent legend, I guess. Uh, he's fairly decent and is also a coach. Got a few nines and eights in there, so that makes him quite good. Got a lot of one-star players as well. Got some players on loan for one-star. Just, just had to get players in. It's really, really difficult to get them in. Um, but I do have some decent players. Jack Evans here. Is pretty decent. Um, we've obviously seen goals from uh, Mickey, Mikey, Mikey Dalton. He he is pretty decent as well. But like I said, we only get too attached to these players. They tend to just leave pretty pretty damn quick. Um, so I think that's pretty much it. When is our next game? Because we are going to play a game. We're not just going to chat through this. Twenty eighth. It's been a couple of days. Um, I'll shoot through to that, and we'll play uh, Crobra Athletic at uh, at home. So. Uh, I'll see you at the ground. All right, guys, we're back for our Crow Borough Athletic game. Um, the newcoming goal, Evans at right back, who is actually, weirdly, a midfielder and striker, but he's three and a half star right back. Uh, I think just because he's 
stats are quite good. He can play wing back weirdly. Um, he's got good physicals, so um, sure he can go there. Sounds good. York, I like York. He's good. Reese York, look at this natural fitness eighteen, jumping reach thirteen. He looks pretty good. Tackling six is a bit low. Humble Barker on left. Clark in that uh, mid um, DMC role. Townie Dalton in the midfield. Hayes on the left. Uh, Paul Hayes, the old man. I shouldn't say that. He's actually younger than me. And Bradshaw up front. Um, we're only doing that because Ryan Hayes is a um, a little bit tired. So let's go and play Cobra Athletic and see how we can do. They're down in 16, so they don't... Um, uh, and point your finger, point you to pick up where you left off last time. Um, more of the same. Let's go. Let's get the game off. Here we go. Here we go. Some really, really lower league football for you to feast your eyes on here. Um, the, the, the games are all a bit weird. You get teams playing really random games. You can see well in there have played six. And you got like Punjab United and Homesdale have played three. Because um, you've got like, all these varying cup competitions at the beginning. Uh, anyway, Hayes with the corner, he whips that in, and I think we've got a penalty. We have got a penalty. Jamie S. Sullivan has been yellow carded. The corner tactic and the long throwing tactic is the one I've been using in my journeyman save. It's going to be Paul Hayes with the penalty here, and he puts that away to make it 1 0 to the mighty chats. Get in a goal of the season for him. Look at the crowd. Look at the crowd. Like, and Maidstone Road ho holds 257. Is that it? I thought we were going to get a good crowd. Um, I think Maidstone Road holds a good thousand, I think. So that's a fairly decent crowd size uh, size stadium for this level, I think. Uh, anyway, it is all us running into half time with 40 minutes on the clock. And I think what I need to do is um, I really need to, uh, how I have with my um, Kralovs. I have one where I just turn it down, it's not so pressing and is a bit more balanced. Uh, and we play that, but for the moment, look at this. Dalton is through, Clifton blocks it, but Hayes manages to get back up. And Towning, but Bradshaw couldn't get in there. And it is York on the boards. You can see Towning is already tired. Um, the pressing at this level it's quite funny. Bradshaw <laughs> has a pop and it bounces off the, uh, the crossbar. Good stuff. Going to put us up in the second spot. If we can keep this up, we're going to point the finger. Things are going well, but I know you're capable of even better. And I'll do this again. Give the uh, the section their pet talk. It's not done too much. Obviously, they're not super impressed with me as a manager just yet. Three games in. Uh, we'll obviously throw out that encouragement again. And we will keep an eye on everyone's fitness here. Uh, Towning is looking a little bit tired as uh, Crowborough Athletic have a... Uh, free kick to Sullivan and he whips it and you can looks like it saves it. We're going to take um, Towning off. The ball is still in play. I thought it was out. It's uh, Pew on the ball now with that man Towning. He's just about to come off. Still does. Evans so much for being great right back. is on a 6.4 for the moment. Um, let's look to make another substitution. It's probably going to be Hayes for Hayes at the moment. I wonder if they're related. We'll, we'll assume they are. We should probably do some research. Substitution at the moment is Hayes for Hayes. And like I said, I wonder if they're re related. It'd be nice if they are. More of the same today, Ryan. He is a superb uh, set piece taker uh, for this level. Ryan Hayes, where is he? Am I going blind? Press play. There it is, Ryan Hayes. Have a look. He's, yeah, so have a look at that. Crossing corners, free kicks, 10. Uh, Humble heads that away. Focus on the game because uh, Cobra are coming at us thick and fast here. As uh, they're looking to equal the game up. And what a goal from Ross Thompson slapping that one into the back of the net. And Cobra Athletic have come, uh, come back here and they are ready to play. They know how we play and, um, yeah, they, they figured us out tactically. Which is not cool. Um, we might look to make another substitution, actually. Uh, third and final. We only get uh, five subs on the bench, so it's not like we're full of options. But it is probably going to be Bodkin, uh, who is going to become coming on, probably for Andy Pugh uh, on that side there. Give us another sort of uh, attacking option. He's been pretty good the last few games as well, Matt Bodkin. So 
looking for him to make a difference as we demand some more. It's not the greatest game to come back. Penalty and uh, it looks like it's going to peter out into a draw. We should have had another goal, to be honest, with our XG at 1.91, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. We'll chuck out a very second for the last few minutes here. We do have a highlight. It is Cobra Athletic on the ball. Hopefully we can nick it off them. Our players are absolutely shagged. As you can see, this is what the pressing does. We've got to tweak that. I've got to tweak that. We're a little bit overexcited. Um, and like I said, it's worked, but um, it will kill these guys towards the end of the season. So it's Evan on the ball now for Dalton. Dalton, that man. Bodkin. Oh, he gets through. Manny Bodkin. He's little. He's little and quick. Flicks in the cross, Hayes is there, and Ryan Hayes just stands up and nods that one in. How easy was that? All made by that man, Bodkin, on the right here. He really fought hard for that ball here and uh, managed to whip in a good cross, and Hayes just stands here and just goes, dunk, back of the net. Have it. And that is a good win, which is going to see us move up to third, I think. All oh, right, yep, so up in the third, four games played, so a win could see us go Gleeb, or Gleb, Glebby, Glebby, they are, they are smashing it. They're scoring some goals, 14 goal difference. All right, so, oh, we've got some trialists leaving now. I'll have to go through and, you know, sort all that stuff out. So, like I said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this first episode. I will go away and, uh, and play a whole bunch of games, probably coming back. Uh, I don't know, probably beginning of the, no, this is another Cobra Athletic game. We, we might come back for Bearstead or Kennington or Canterbury. I don't know. I'll see how we go. Um, and then it'll be an end of the season thing. We'll just try and push through as much as we can, get out of these lower leagues and get the mighty chats on their road to glory all the way to the Premier League. We will take that as a win. I'd like to hope we go a little bit further, but we'll see how we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, video and you are looking forward to this new series i am really really pumped about this and uh, it is going to be a monumental effort um to get all the way um so if you're not subscribed subscribe to the channel if you do that it'll be like smash that like button and uh, let me know in the comments look at this look at this i'm pointing at the screen you can't see me doing that we're undefeated so far um can we go all this all the way whole season undefeated let me know in the comments what you think i'll see you next time bye